Hey VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video here. Uh, we're going to do a recent finds video, which um, is the videos where I just kind of go to the recently acquired stack over here and just pick out five random records and share those five. So let's just kind of jump right into it. Uh, why don't we start off here with... Oh, that's a good one. The Ramones, Pleasant Dreams. Just picked this up at a record show recently. Uh, this is their 1981 release. Um, it's not like my absolute favorite Ramones album, but I mean, it does have some pretty cool stuff on there, like like the KKK took my baby away and a few other things. I mean, it's just that, that classic Ramones sound. Uh, but yeah, definitely a very nice piece to pick up because I, I have been kind of on a mission to pick up all of the Ramones OG stuff. And I think they have like was it 14 studio albums I think 14 15 somewhere around there and so I've been doing a pretty good job I, I still need um, end of the century I need leave home I need OGs of those I have reissues with the box set but I need OGs of those two and then of course the last three albums you know which are unless I just happen to stumble across one of those in a thrift store for five bucks I mean I'm never showing out the money that it takes to get those but um and then their their debut. I need an OG of their debut. And then I think I'll have a complete OG discography of them. So uh, anyone out there that has any of that, interested in trading, give me a buzz and let me know. But yeah, that's a, that's Pleasant Dream. So that was a really good find. Ramon stuff is always good to come across. Even their worst albums are great. Uh, what do we have here next? Oh, this is one that's been sitting over there for a while. Just haven't randomly picked it, but uh, David Bowie, and this is Changes 2, um, kind of the, well, part two of the greatest hits, which was the Changes. Um, and yeah, this is, a, again, a really cool one with a lot of the classic stuff that we know by Bowie with, you know, Aladdin Sane, Starman, Ashes to Ashes, Sound and Vision, Fashion, and a bunch of other things too. So the, the main reason I really grabbed this one was I had some credit at a store, and when I just saw you know near mint and shrink with the hype sticker it's like i just could not pass that up so just a beautiful piece that i had to grab so that was a that was definitely a great one and what's next here let's go to let's do this one ah donald bird slow drag another one of the more recent tone poet reissues um this is one I really can't say as much about because I'm not familiar with this Bird album and actually I haven't listened to it yet. It's probably what I'm going to do actually as soon as I hit stop here. But, uh, I mean, yeah, you guys know like the, the quality of the tone poets. I mean, it's just Blue Note in general as far as the music goes and everything. So I'm sure that's going to be fantastic. But can't wait to give that a spin. What's that, three? Now let's, so how about... Let's go with... I can grab it. What's this? Oh, this is a good one. Just picked this up at a local record show as well. Boston, and this is Don't Look Back. And, I, and again, just an absolute beautiful Japanese pressing of this, an original 1978 Japanese pressing, as you can see with the OB and everything there. Just a beautiful copy of that. So I know I do have, a, again, a very nice you know, near mint US pressing that I'm going to be purging and this is going to be the copy that I keep moving forward. And so, uh, I mean, yeah, just a very solid album. Of course, d didn't quite compare to their self-titled release, but like what rock album does for that matter, uh, as fantastic as that was. But, you know, with awesome songs like Don't Look Back and a, a number of other things, I mean, just solid album and definitely awesome to have a beautiful Japanese pressing of that. What's that for? So I'm going to go one more. And what do we have on this one? Ah, another one I picked up at the show this past weekend. And this is the Eurythmics. And this is Touch. Again, just kind of another Japanese upgrade that I did from the, the U.S. pressing that I, I had. And um, and yeah, I mean, Eurythmics. I mean, come on. It's like, it's, again, it's kind of like, what do you say outside of just you know one of the, the legends of the 80s? Um, you know, and here you have Here Comes the Rain Again, which of course was a gigantic hit. And then probably my favorite song by the Eurythmics, which is Who's That Girl? I think that's my favorite song by them. So many great ones you can you can choose from. The song I hate the most by them is Would I Lie to You? 
I cannot stand that song. Oh, it drives me crazy. And I, I don't know why, but I just do not like it. But uh, most of the other stuff they do is just fantastic. And of course, you know, Annie is just, I mean, Annie is just Annie. I mean, she has had such a stunning look to her. And I always felt like she, she was a, a woman that was so attractive, like almost model level attractive. And then I think she tried to like, at least again, I have no idea because I never heard her talk about it. It's just my, my impression is that I feel like she always tried to downplay it. Like she always tried to be like, I'm not a model. I'm, I'm, you know, a creative artist and I'm, I'm rough around the edges and I'm, and it's like, well, sure. She tried to do that, but it's like, no matter what she did, it's like, she is gorgeous. I mean, she just, just looks like a model in everything she did. And this cover is just kind of a perfect example of that. Just, I mean, just absolutely awesome. And, you know, she just so happens that she also has just one of the most amazing voices. Like, her first self-titled album, you know, like, Walking on Broken Glass was always a, you know, a fantastic piece. But um, when she did, uh, what was the other song, Why? It's just like, I melt every time I hear that song. It's just so much passion in it. And the strings inside of it towards the end and all of that, it's just beautiful piece but this is a recent find it's not a you know favorite song re review or whatever else so those are uh five new things that have come in and as always let me know what you guys think and we will talk to you soon all right take care guys